how to simulate any Hamiltonian in 5 steps. This video presents a simple recipe to simulate any Hamiltonian in 5 steps. Sometimes this approach could be not the most optimal, but it works for most of the models of interest. So, we assume that the Hamiltonian simulation will be performed on a universal quantum computer with a gate-based model of computation. Step number one. Define a model Hamiltonian of a system which you want to simulate. Step number two. Write the target Hamiltonian in terms of Pauli matrices. The mathematical properties of qubits are those of spin-half system. Therefore, in order to be simulated on a qubit-based architecture, any target Hamiltonian, for example, if you want to simulate spin-1 system, has to be mapped into an equivalent Hamiltonian of interacting spin-half operators. Efficient mappings are known for a large variety of cases, ranging from spin more than half to fermionic and fermionic bosonic systems. Then, since any Hamiltonian is a matrix, it can be decomposed into a linear combination of products of Pauli operators. Here, R8 is a product of Pauli operators, which depends on the dimension of the system, and C8 are the expansion coefficients for all possible combinations from the Pauli operators. In this way, you can find the decomposition of the matrix into a linear combination of the Pauli operators using the commands in Qiskit and Penny Lane, which are presented on the screen. Remember, the quantum simulation will be efficient whenever the Hamiltonian is the sum of local terms. This is usually not a limitation in many practical cases, because most of the physical processes are inherently local in nature. Sometimes local Hamiltonians get mapped into non-local ones, for example when Jordan-Wigner transformation is applied. Step 3. Trotterization. First check whether the local terms commute with each other. Then one can decompose the exponent, not introducing any error. Otherwise, apply trotterization for the appropriate number of trotter steps. Step number 4. Translate each part of the total evolution operator into a quantum circuit. Each local term in this case can be simulated exactly. You can learn more about this in the corresponding video. Step 5 is optional. Sometimes you may need to add initial state preparation at the beginning of the circuit and appropriate set of measurements at the end to recover the expectation values of the relevant observable quantities. To learn the subroutine which allows to measure any arbitrary expectation value, please watch the video about the Hadamard test.